right guys this is the very first drawer that has my eyeshadows in it I already have anxiety <laughs> i want to show you guys stuff but i don't want to get rid of anything we'll see what happens because like i said unfortunately a lot of this stuff i haven't even used yet so i'm not getting rid of something i don't use so i don't know what's going to happen how much of a declutter this is going to be but it is what it is. So we'll just start from the front of the drawer. This is in no order. There are 21 palettes in this drawer. I've had this one forever. When this came out, I just knew that this was going to be like my, I never need another palette. It's perfect. I actually have a backup of it because I think it was going to be limited edition and then it wasn't. I'm not ready to get rid of this yet because it was a birthday present and I want to keep it. This next palette is the Dose of Colors Desi Times Katie Collab Palette. This is a palette that I've honestly been holding on to because everybody says it's great. I haven't even used it that much and I still feel some type of way about getting rid of it. I don't know why. It doesn't make sense. So I'm going to pull this out and I'm going to see what the deal is, see if I'm going to use it already busted so honestly that's not a good sign but we're gonna see it kind of reminds me of the KKW palettes so I don't know I'm gonna take this out and put this in my need to try ASAP to decide I'm gonna show this just to be nice I don't know who hasn't seen this but I actually stalked and stalked to try to find this this is the Uoma Beauty Black Magic palette y'all know me and my greens this palette is not going anywhere. I don't care. It reminds me of the subculture palette a little bit. Maybe I should compare those. But yeah, not getting rid of it. Haven't, oh, uh, did I use this? Doesn't look like I did as much. I know I swatched it, but either way, not going anywhere. This palette is pretty new. I got this from one of the, what those things? CCOs, Cosmetics Company Stores. Um yeah let me go ahead and show it to you guys i have used this and i like it i am not getting rid of it it is cool toned and it is pretty so definitely staying this palette is newer like just got within the past six months or so urban decay naked wild west to be honest completely honest i I need to hurry up and try it because the colors look a little ashy. I'm really just here for this and like these two, these other shades. Yeah, but I mean, I just got it, so I'm not going to get rid of it. I think I just got caught up in the hype of it. And so I bought it on sale for like 30% off. This next one is still in the box. I have not even used it. I guess I can show you guys real quick, although I'm sure everybody has seen it. I think I said when I showed my haul that I had no intentions of even picking this up because I looked at it, swatched it in store, didn't think it was great. And then it was 30% off. There were times it was 50% off and I didn't buy it. But for whatever reason, I bought it at 30% off. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Issues. But so this is the palette here. Urban, Urban Decay Ultraviolet. Haven't used this yet. Swatched this. I've swatched it, but I haven't used it. So not going to get rid of it until I try it. This I picked up on sale, I think half off on Sephora's website. This is the Melt Cosmetics Impulsive Palette. I stalked this, stalked this, and then just decided to pull the trigger. Oh, why does that look like that? I have not. Oh, I thought this was broke. Y'all, I was about to have a fit. All these moves. Oh, calm down. I ain't getting rid of this. I already know. Haven't used it. Have not used it swatched it freaking gorgeous she ain't going nowhere nowhere at all and honestly now looking at this I need to stop because I've been trying to find like the Gemini palette or the rust palette and then those colors are like right in here or very similar so glad I looked at that again because I'm going to stop looking for the others this is the Buxom times Ash K Holmes palette I have no idea who this person is but I saw the color story and thought it was gorgeous and I have used this and I like it. So not getting rid of it. This is more of a collection tag like video than it is a declutter. This I found at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. This is the Lancome Starlight Sparkle Shadow Palette. 
to be completely honest, I don't really love this. I don't, mainly because I feel like I don't have a great transition shade. Like this shade is good. This thing don't even have a mirror. Um, this is good for a transition shade, but if I was trying to lean towards a cooler toned look with this palette, that shade doesn't really sit well with me to do that. So I could use my bronzer. Um, hmm, I'm not going to get rid of it yet, but if I don't use it soon, cause I used it for a while. I'm not, I'm not doing a swat, bunch of swatches in this video. See this it bothers me cause it's like, I feel like there should be more pigment than that. See, that's pretty. What is this? I don't even think I, Ooh, okay. We're not getting rid of it. See, that's what happens. Not going anywhere. All right. Up next, Milani Gilded Terra. Pick this up from a CVS. And this one, honestly, I'm keeping it because it's a drugstore palette and I want to have drugstore options. The colors are nice, but I just wish there was a darker shade in here to deepen it up with. I would have to go into another palette for that. Like, I feel like these are so similar. They could have changed that out. These are too close. Same issue for me, but the palette is pretty. I think I used the golds. I did a gold, the golds in a look. So I need to do another look with this one. Not going to get rid of it, but I remember feeling weird about that one right there. I don't know what it was though. So, but I'm going to keep it because I need to have more drugstore stuff. Just got both of these Jaclyn Hill palettes. Um, not getting rid of them. I bought the vault, but I only kept these two and the other two I put in a giveaway instead of just hoarding them. This one is the main reason why I wanted to get it. Love these shades, dark, grungy, green, blue, kind of, yeah, this is cool toned. And I think I kind of started looking at this whenever I got into the cool tones plus the green. So definitely keeping, I think armed and gorgeous is very not similar. You know what? I think the only reason why I'm holding on to this one is for a green. Like I don't have a million greens. The golds are pretty. I just haven't been wearing a lot of gold lately. And I feel like when I do, I like how it looks, but it's not like, oh, I need to do more gold looks. So I'm going to take this one out and I need to try it because I don't know if I'm going to keep it. The shade is pretty though. This is the Revolution Mint Chocolate Eyeshadow Palette. This one actually surprised me. Try not to blind y'all with the way my light is set up. I'm trying to show y'all some light, but then not show my face because my eye is still busted and I don't want anybody freaking out. Um, I really liked this shade, but it's thin. I could probably get rid of this. I don't know why I'm keeping it. I'm going to try it again. I'm going to use a few different shades, but I think I'm going to get rid of this one. Eek! Why do I feel some type of way? I literally am a hoarder. I don't know. I'm going to try it. This is the Ace Beauté Paradise Fallen Palette. She is not going anywhere. Anything with purples is probably not going anywhere. I love this palette. This is the old formula. I haven't tried the new one. But I thought this performed okay. I mean, I know people said the formula for the new ones are better, but I have nothing to compare to. So this worked for me. I, did I use this? I might have used this or like pulled a couple shades out of it for a look, but like, yeah, not going anywhere. This is the Bad Habit Luna Shadow Palette. I picked this one up because I kind of wanted to get the ABH Norvina Palette. And then I was just like, I don't know if I'm going to really like it, if the shades are going to be deep enough, but I want it because it's purple. So I picked this one up for that reason. The shadows are nice. Um, to be honest, I don't know. I've used it, but I don't know, like, really remembering, feeling like any kind of way about it. So I'm going to put this in the, I need to see how I feel about it because I don't remember. This is the Bad Habit Inferno palette. I picked this one up because I knew I was not going to get the, which one was it? Naked Heat, Urban Decay Naked Heat. And so I got this one, but y'all, I'm going to put this in the probably declutter because I think I have other palettes 
that have similar shades and I don't even think you can get stuff from this brand anymore. Y'all comment, let me know if I'm tripping or not, if you can still get these, but I just don't, I don't gravitate to shades like this anymore. And I have other palettes that have these shades that I know I'm probably going to keep. So this one will probably go. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette. I don't hear anybody talking about this palette anymore. I don't know why. Okay, how can I not blind y'all? Here we go. Um, I don't know why, because this palette was really good. Perfect transition shade. There's a black. This could, I could do without, but I guess for other people. But these metallics are freaking amazing. And this palette is not going anywhere. I think I used this for my friend's wedding or something. I feel like it's tied to a memory, but either way, she's staying. This is the Dominique Cosmetics Celestial Thunder Palette. I got this in a BoxyCharm or something. I think I subscribed one month just to get it. And then I used it and I was like, meh. But when I used it, I wasn't into doing as much color and stuff as I am now. So hmm, I feel some type of way about it. If I'm on the fence, I'm not getting rid of it because I feel like I've done that where I've gotten rid of stuff and then I went back to find it and it was gone and I was upset. So I have space. I'm not hurting like stuff is not organized or anything. So I'm going to hold on to this one. Like I haven't even tried this shade. I haven't tried this shade. Haven't tried that shade. So need to play with it. This one back here, I found at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. This is the Becca. What was this called? Uh, pearl glow shimmering eye palette there we go I bought this this was the first palette that I bought in an effort to start my cool toned collection it is gorgeous and these shades right here just the shine that they give and the duochromeness and the goodness I was surprised these are kind of like toppers the rest of these shades like this and this I don't feel like I mean it's dark I don't know. I've used this and I felt like I liked it, but I don't reach for it. And I know Becca's going out of business. You know, I'm going to keep it because you can't get it again. And I remember I didn't pay a lot for it. So I'm going to keep it. Watch this shade, y'all. Like, that's so pretty. Yeah, she's staying. I think that was the shade that made me want to keep her and want to get her. So I need some makeup wipes. All right. Um, oh, just real quick, because last time y'all commented on my nails, which I appreciated. Um, so just to tell you, because I don't know if I said anything in the last one video or I couldn't remember. These are actually nail strips from the brand Color Street. Latoya Pope Cummings is my rep. I will put her information in the description box, but these are nail strips. You put them on and that is it. You don't have to do anything. Base coat nail polish it comes in different designs you can get regular colors you can get glitters whatever so love these and they last a long time on me but i'll have that link down below okay already know this ain't going anywhere haven't used it yet sigma enchanted palette i will show you real quick but she is definitely staying so that is what she looks like y'all ain't going nowhere I'm trying to definitely stay in this kind of reminds me of the carly bible palette but with a little more depth because these shades are darker which i think i don't have that palette i didn't want that palette i thought it was too light but i think this one is gorgeous and i love all the different tones in it last but not least already know this is not going anywhere this was the first colored rain palette that i picked up this is the queen of hearts so, Inferno, see what I'm saying? So if we compare, I think they're not 100% the same, but I think they're close enough that I can get rid of the Inferno and keep the Queen of Hearts. So we're going to do that. Yay, our first palette we're getting rid of. So that is it for that drawer. And then back here, I just have this to kind of hold stuff from falling. But yeah. Oh, yeah. And now we're going to go back to that because she's a big mama. I probably need to move her to the other drawer, but that's okay.
All right, so we're gonna start in the front. This is the Morphe 18B Making Bank palette. I am not getting rid of this. I can tell y'all right now because I have not used it yet. Still in the packaging. This is what it looks like. I think it is so pretty and it has been swatched, but definitely need to put it to use. So I will be keeping this one. Next, Lunar Beauty Strawberry Dream Palette. I love this palette. It is not going, did I just stick my nail in something? It is not going anywhere at all. No way, shape or form. This palette is gorgeous. I think I did a look with this one on my channel. So yeah, she's staying. Next, we have the Give Me Glow Vivid Rose Palette. I just got this. I have not used it yet, so it is not going anywhere. I probably should just take this stuff out of the boxes. I don't know what's wrong with me, why I do this to myself, but this has only been swatched. Look how pretty. Not going anywhere. Can I get rid of the boxes, y'all? Like, really? Next is the Sigma Untamed Palette. Just got this one as well when I got the Enchanted palette. Absolutely love this one. I have used this one a few times. I'm not getting rid of it. So gorgeous. And of course, the greens and the purples did it for me. So she is a keeper. I'm going to move her up to the other drawer with the other Sigma palette. Next, this is Jeffree Star Androgyny. This is my first Jeffree Star palette. I know, I know not popular among us, not popular among a lot of people, but the reality, the formula of this was good. And it was my first palette that I was like, I'm willing to pay for that because I love the color story. So I'm going to keep it. This is the Kylie pressed powder palette. Which one is this? I got this one. I think I got this for free. I don't know which one this is. Why does it not have a name on it? Anyway, I haven't even used this. I don't think I got this for free with an Ulta order. Love Ulta perks. Telling y'all if I can shop Ulta or Sephora, I'm shopping Ulta. But yeah, sipping pretty. Why don't say that on the outside? Anyway, this is what the palette looks like. To be honest, I would not have bought this. But getting it for free, I don't mind at all. The color story is okay. Like, what does this look like? Oh, See, I haven't worn this, so I have no idea. I didn't even swatch it. I got it and stuck it in the drawer. I definitely need to play with this because it's pretty. I'm not sure about the formula, though, because I never used it. So I will have to try this out. Next is the KVD Vegan Beauty Barber Get It Right. This is the Edge of Reality eyeshadow palette. I don't even know if you can get this anymore, but y'all, I was very surprised when I swatched this. Got it on sale, maybe half off, if not less. Sorry with the glare. Oh, I don't love the packaging. Oh, it does go this way. I don't love the packaging on this at all. I get that it's recyclable and all that good stuff, but it's a pain. Um, these shades are absolutely gorgeous. I think I tried the mattes. You can't really tell, but I just feel like it was a very good surprise. So I don't want to get rid of it. I don't know that I've done a look on my eye. I think I just swatched it. I didn't do a look. Yeah. I have not, so definitely need to do that, but not getting rid of that. I'm gonna get rid of this box though. This is the BH Cosmetics Weekend Vibes Avocado Toast Palette. Definitely not getting rid of this. Absolutely love this. Y'all know me and my greens. So beautiful, great quality. I almost picked up the blueberry one too, but I was like, you know what? That's enough. Just get this one. You know that's your jam and you're good. So keeping this. No question at all. Ace Beauté, Tropical Vibes, definitely keeping. Did a look with this on my channel. It is freaking gorgeous. Yes, she is staying. Just got this one this year. So, or not this year, obviously not this year. I've only bought one palette in January so far, but end of last year. I forgot what this actually was when I was showing y'all my makeup collection, but this is, I think, Berries and Cream. Yes. Dominique Cosmetics Berries and Cream. Let me tell you about this palette. I'm a mess. I bought it because of the hype. And then I was like, I don't like this. I don't know why I bought this. I'm not going to wear this. I bought it back. And then I bought it again when it was on sale. 
I'm keeping it because I haven't even used this yet, but I've heard the quality is good. I think I just didn't love it because it was a little more on the cooler tone side, these here, but it's a good palette. I think that's what I've heard. So I need to try it again now that my tastes have matured a little bit. This is the Violet Voss Olive, I can't say this right ever, Olive You Forever palette. And getting rid of this, used it, love it, did a video review on it, and it was gorgeous. This is like perfect neutrals with some greens. This is the Pure Defense Anti-Pollution Eyeshadow Palette. I think that's a whole bunch of crap, and I don't know why I'm keeping this box, because I did a review on this one as well. But the palette itself, I'm going to try not to blind y'all. This palette is good, but I did notice because I did a smoky look with this one that I felt like the eyeshadows wore off. It did not stay pigmented all day. So I don't know. I don't know if I want to keep this or not. I'm not in love with it. It's more like, oh, you did a video, you should keep it. But... <sighs> See, shades like that get me. Yeah, I know we're keeping her. I'm keeping it. I just maybe need to use a different primer because I know that can also have an effect on it. But I just remember like I did this beautiful kind of smoky look, which I never do on my channel. And then throughout the day, I felt like it just wore away. And I want to say I might have had stuff fall out on my eyes. I need to try that palette again. I'm not going to pull it out right now. But yeah, Disney ColourPop Mulan palette. I have not worn this. I went on a red kick for a little while and I saw this palette and it's ColourPop so it's not expensive. So I was like, oh, you should get it already. No, I'm not touching these glitters, but the rest of the shades are really pretty and I like ColourPop's formula. So I need to use this, not gonna get rid of it. This is the Bad Habit Fantasia palette. I can get rid of this one. I'm not gonna feel bad getting rid of this one. I think I used this palette or what did I use it for? I don't even know, but it can go. I think I just wanted it for like this shade and this shade, but I have, ooh. <laughs> ooh, you really want to get rid of that girl? Hold on, let's swatch. Yeah, I think I'll be all right getting rid of it. Yeah, that's crumbling everywhere. I'm going to get rid of this one. Yeah, this is the Alter Ego Goddess palette. I'm not getting rid of this. This is a dupe for Natasha Denona Gold, I think. A palette that I don't have, so not getting rid of this. What is this? Oh, I didn't know this was in here. Nubian by Juvia's. Okay, see, honestly, this is another one very similar to the Inferno Hmm, I kind of want to keep it because it's Nubian, because it's Juvia's place. Look, I'm not hurting for space, so I ain't getting rid of it. No reason to, and I love this brand. Next, Bad Habit Pretty Poison. I'm keeping this one. Purple, pink. Ooh, what is this one? Oh, this is the um, Natasha Denona, which I also have. Leela palette, I think. This is a dupe, or supposed to be but I feel like it's not. Maybe closer to the love palette now or something like that. But either way, I like this. I'm not keep, I'm not getting rid of it. Like the color story. So yes. Okay. These next two Maybelline Nudes of New York, I'm going to keep because it's drugstore and it's actually a really good palette. I used this one. I don't remember what I used it for, but it was good. I think I did a comparison video maybe. I don't know, but this is a good drugstore palette. I need to pull this out and I need to use it because I just recently bought it. I always like shades like this, that green brown kind of shade. I need to try this out because I haven't tried it. And I know Profusion has great shadows. I remember looking at this one and I literally was like greens, but everything else, I'm just like, what is this? So I need to try this out because I just bought this within the past three months, but honestly, it's probably going to go. Back here we have... Oh, definitely keeping this. I just got this and haven't played with it a lot, even though I don't love shades like this. This is the Elf Earth and Ocean palette. Greens, definitely my vibe. I hadn't played with these blues yet, though, so we're going to have to see. But 
just got this one. I try to keep all my e.l.f. palettes together. This is the Retro Paradise. I'm also going to keep this one. I think it is super cute. I love that it has neutrals and pops of color. And I think that the shadows are really good. I really like that shade too. So yeah, I'm going to keep this one. This is the Opposites Attract palette. I think I found this one for like five bucks and I was so excited. And I like this palette as well. So keeping it. I kept, I'm keeping all these. I mean, I named these in my drugstore favorites. So like this brand as a whole, especially this size and the little quads. So I just have to keep it. This palette I use, this is the New Classics for my very first a soft glam video and I absolutely loved how it turned out and I feel like that video was like one of my first ones I was proud of so definitely keeping this not only for the memory but also because it's good okay I haven't played with this yet I'm gonna pull this out to play with but I'm probably gonna get rid of it I just bought this because I was in Walmart and I was like "Ooh, what's this but y'all what is this like Barbara you need to stop I don't do glitter so I need to see what these other shades look like I think I remember swatching them and just being saying just being mad but I like that yeah I'll probably get rid of this one I'm not in love with it and I haven't even used it yet that's pretty bad Ooh, something else green this is the she glam she glam cactus cool palette I have not used this yet I've only swatched it but it's green so y'all already know this one's not going anywhere because I haven't used it yet this palette I only picked up honestly because I was trying to get a deal at the cosmetics company store with a buy six products and they were like $10 a piece or something like that. So I picked this up. The colors are pretty. It's just not my normal color story per se, but I think it's cute. So I need to try it. I haven't tried MAC shadows in a while, so this will definitely be fun for the spring. This is the Just Peachy Mattes by Too Faced. I am not a big matte person, like doing only mattes. But this palette, I don't remember what. It was related something to powerlifting. Like I set a goal to do something and then I did it. And I don't know why. Of all palettes I could pick, I picked this. So I'm going to put this in my try pile because I might get rid of it. It's just not something I normally gravitate towards. And the shades, there's a lot of shades that look similar. So, yeah. Haven't tried this yet, so I'm not getting rid of it. This is the Nabla Poison Garden Palette. This was on sale for half off at Ulta when I picked it up. I picked up this one and the next palette at the same time, and I haven't used either one of them. So I need to use this. Just kind of, does this remind y'all of the Blueberry from BH? I don't know. I'm thinking that maybe because I see blues. I don't know. This is the Secret palette. I have not used this one either. These color stories are kind of different for me. Like I look at it and I feel kind of just like meh, but I haven't tried them. So I need to try it. I'm not getting rid of anything I haven't used. That is super wasteful. I guess I could maybe like resale them, but I need to try it first because I might end up liking it. Revolution Time Soph X Ultra Eyeshadow Palettes. Eh. I think I just got this one because I wanted to have a, another drugstore option. And I don't remember being in love with this. I mean, it's okay. And again, there's that shade. I'm going to get rid of this one. All right, this is, I just got this one, haven't used it yet. This is the new Lorac Pro Palette, the Fairy Tale Forest. Of course, I had to get this one because it has green in it. But I even still, like these were on sale and that's why I got it. But then, actually, I'm going to get rid of this box. Um, look at that, the size of the box compared to the palette. That's a waste. Um, I remember looking at this color story and again feeling like so many of these shades are very similar why but and the pans are a lot smaller than I thought and there's also needs to be a deeper shade see I don't mm. 
I'm going to try it, but I can't say that I'm like that enthused to do it. So we'll see. Already know this is not going anywhere. Urban Decay Born to Run. Friggin' love this palette. I will keep it forever and ever and ever. This is the Patrick Star One Size Palette. Y'all, I feel like this palette got so much hate where people were just like blah about it. I love this palette. Absolutely love it and not getting rid of it. This is the Alter Ego Artemis palette. This is a dupe for the Natasha Denona Metropolis palette, which I have. And one of the first videos that I tried to do was a dupe video comparing these. I matched up all the shades. I swatched it and I did a look on each eye. And can you guess which one? And then I lost the footage. I don't remember what happened. And... I remember that video took me so long to prepare for that I was like, I'm not doing this shit again. So yeah, I don't need to keep this because I have the other one, but <laughs> I have issues. So I'm going to keep it. This is the BH Cosmetics Desert Oasis palette. This palette is good and I know you can't get it anymore, but that just means I can't use it on camera and not can't use it ever. And I want to say I used this for one of my friends for their wedding because there was like a particular color that she wanted and I think it ended up being this one plus these highlighters are pretty this is not going anywhere this is the Morphe times Manny MUA glam palette I like this palette I got it for this imagine that another blue brown shade and they all freaking look the same and I still just keep buying them oh hold on <laughs> there we go I still just keep buying them and I don't know why, but I think this is really pretty. Do I need to keep it though? I'm gonna put it back for right now because I remember I liked it. It's not that I don't like it. It's just, I'm not sure how much I'm gonna use it, but I mean, I have too much eyeshadow anyway. So that's kind of a moot point. Let me try to reorganize some of this stuff so I can get the rest of this back here. All right. Haven't used this yet. This is the Plan and Makeup by Yolando, the Nude by Yolando Church Girl Palette. Y'all. I haven't used it, so I'm not getting rid of it. And I like the formula. I know the Jamrock palette I absolutely love. Um, but yeah, not going to get rid of this because I haven't used it yet. Even though these shades aren't what I typically gravitate towards these days, I have to try it. So we're going to keep it. All right. Two more in this drawer. BH Cosmetics Aurora Lights. These shades are so friggin' pigmented. The formula is different because it's baked, but they're so like soft and I'm like, I don't know what I want to swatch. They're just so pretty. But I feel like I don't use like every now and then I'll pull this out. Like I've used that shade for something. I don't remember what. I'm not ready to get rid of this yet. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> this is the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil. I'm going to get rid of this. I bought it. I don't know why. I think it's people were talking about it saying how good it was. And I don't even know if I've used this. It's. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of this one. All right, we are back. I had to take a break. <laughs> I opened this drawer and I felt like I couldn't. So this is day two. Um, I went ahead and counted all my palettes just to see. And I have 213 palettes. So that is what we are working with. And I don't remember, honestly, how many I got through yesterday. But whatever, we're just going to keep going. So start at the front of this one. This is the NYX Ultimate Eyeshadow Palette. I don't even know if I've used this yet. I picked this one up because it is a, I think it's a dupe for the Subculture Palette. And I wanted to do a comparison video and I haven't done it yet. So not going to get rid of this, but I now know that I can also include the Uoma Beauty in the comparison so 
if you have any of those three color stories are kind of similar. This is the Flower Beauty Jungle Lights palette. Definitely not getting rid of this. Y'all, I think this is so pretty and I swatch it and I gag every time I do and then I don't wear it. And I think it's just because I'm very like, I'm one of those people that sees something and I get inspired by how it looks already put together versus having to put it together myself. So not wearing these just by themselves. I'm like, oh, I got to go get a matte palette and find something. And then it just stays in the drawer. So I need to use this. All of these colors are absolutely beautiful. And this is definitely worth it. This is the Kathleen Lights Dream Street palette. I know y'all know how old this is. This is so old, but I'm not going to get rid of it. I don't know. I feel like I had another color pop palette that was kind of old that I got rid of. And then I regretted it. And I think that's my biggest thing with all of my palettes. Like, I've gotten rid of stuff and then wished I had it later. So I need to know for sure I have something similar or really don't want it if I'm going to get rid of it. So this one is cute. Not getting rid of it. This is the Face Candy Atlantis palette. This one's really cute. Um, Did I use this one? I think I used the other one I'm decluttering. I kind of want to keep this just because these blues are so pretty. Mm, I'm going to keep it. Yeah. ColourPop Sweet Nothings. Definitely keeping this. Love this palette. Love purple. I think I've worn this by itself before. Pretty sure I have. And no complaints. Milani Soft and Sultry. I have not used this. I bought it on my cool tone kick and then I just have not used it yet. So I need to and I'm definitely keeping it because it's a drugstore option that is really good. And yeah, that is it for that one. Definitely keeping it. This is just a palette that I threw some singles in. These are from Makeup Forever. Not getting rid of this. I don't even know. Do they make eyeshadows anymore? Like, what's the deal with Makeup Forever? Do y'all know anything? Have y'all heard anything besides their um, powder, their face powder that came out that was really good? I haven't heard much. So y'all let me know, but not getting rid of this. Definitely not getting rid of this. Just picked this up and I don't even think I've used it yet. The, oh Lord, Huda Beauty Khaki Haze. Absolutely gorgeous. Greens, browns, my loves not decluttering. Same thing for the next one, Huda Beauty Wild Obsessions Jaguar. Not getting rid of this. I just got this and I absolutely love it. Colors are gorgeous. I just recently saw somebody get rid of this and I clutched my pearls. Like how? I'm not getting rid of this. This is the Huda Beauty Obsessions Amethyst. Y'all already know. She ain't going nowhere. Love purple. Swatch this palette for a fell in love, waited for a sale, got it on sale, keeping. Next, I have the Dominique Cosmetics. This is her, what is this thing called? Um, This was the Valentine's palette that she came up with. I think I got this in a Trend Mood box. This is what it looks like. It's really pretty. I'm going to try this. I'm going to take it out and try it because I only swatched it. I haven't tried this. And honestly, with it having that pressed glitter, I know I'm not going to wear that. So I'm kind of wondering with my Strawberry Dream palette and some of the other pinks that I have, do I need to keep this? So I'm going to take this one out. Up next, this is the Patrick Star Times Mac Goal Getter Eyeshadow Palette. This is super pretty, a nice, easy, everyday neutral palette, super cute, and it is MAC. Um, I'm going to keep it. I don't have a lot of MAC stuff, so I feel like it makes me want to hold on to it if I ever want to compare some stuff, or I don't know that I would do a full face. I don't probably don't even have enough stuff to do a full face of MAC, but whatever. Definitely want to keep some stuff in my collection to have for reference. As I come to another MAC palette... This I found at the cosmetics company store. I'm going to take it out this plastic because I hate this. Um, 
Well, there that goes. This is a holiday. It says star sighting compact neutrals. This is super cute. Definitely keeping this. This is fairly new to my collection. Um, yeah, so I'm going to keep it. This is something else. Oh, I got this on sale on the Dosa Colors website. This is the I Love Sarai palette. I have not worn this. I have not tried it. She's cute, though. Hmm. I probably need to play with it. I think if this black would have just been a matte, I probably would have been more excited about it. But the way it is and the way it's like it's sparkly and stuff, I don't know. It kind of makes me shy away from it, but I need to try this. I don't even think I swatched this. This doesn't even look swatched. Like, what is wrong with me? Just get it and put it in a drawer. I'm going to take this out. This is the Nabla Cutie Palette. This one is the platinum one. She is super cute, cool toned, definitely going to keep her because I just got it. And I actually like the formula in these palettes. So I'm going to keep this one. This is the cutie palette in coral. I love this one. I did a look on my channel with this one. I think just using this actually, and it came out really good. So definitely going to keep this one. This was in my favorites, first yearly favorites, I think, that I did. Oh, can't open it, though. It's the only thing I don't like about this palette. This is the NARS, what's she called? Skin Deep Eye Palette. It says this is an eye palette, but I actually use these shades on my face. I love this palette. I love the shades. I love the range in it, and yeah, it is also kind of cool toned. So definitely keeping this. This is another NARS palette. This is the NARS Studio 54 Inferno palette. I found this at a Marshalls. I paid 29 bucks for it. Most stuff that's still in the box I have not used, but this is so cute. This is what this looks like. Did I swatch? I guess I swatched. I stuck my finger in it. This has a lot of glitter, which I don't love. Glitter, glitter. I think this is a glitter. Uh, I need to try it. I think I've just swatched it. The stuff that I'm pulling out are maybes because I need to try them and make a decision if I want to keep them or not because I either do not know or need to have a second opinion to be sure. So I'm going to take this one out. This is the Viseart, Visart, however you say it. I think I say it different every time. This is the, what is this called? Neutral Matte Eyeshadow Palette. I have not used this yet, not getting rid of it because it is new. I got this from the Boxy Pop-Up, so it was pretty cheap for me. And I only have, I want to say one other palette that I keep in my travel bag that I love. So I wanted to try more of their stuff. I think there's one palette that I'm, I kind of have my eye on, but I don't know. I don't know from this brand that I have not picked up, but I've seen people review it and they love it. So I've kind of been thinking about it, but haven't pulled the trigger on it yet. We'll go this way. Then we'll go to the back. This is the LA girl. Keep it playful eyeshadow palette. Definitely not getting rid of this. I've used this. I love this. Great drugstore option for a cool toned palette. That is why I picked it up and it did not disappoint. ColourPop Baroque palette. Another one I am not getting rid of. I love this palette. This is a duochrome here in the middle. I hope you can see that. It is freaking stunning and these colors are very deep. Beautiful palette. This is, oops. The ColourPop Mar palette. Hmm. Do I wear this? I don't wear this. Come on, focus. Um. Hmm. I don't know. I like this. I'm not getting rid of this. I like the neutrals with the pop of colors. I love palettes like that because it gives me options to switch it up. So I'm not going to get rid of this. This is the Revolution Reflection Mystic palette. Pick this up in a Revolution haul. I have used this. 
I'm not getting rid of it. Y'all know something with purple. It's just not happening. I think I did a look on my channel with this. So you can go back and look. I had a good time playing with it and it came out. The look came out really good. So not getting rid of it. ColourPop, Wet and Wild. I'm sorry, ColourPop. Wet and Wild Color Icon in Light Soft. Not getting rid of this. Just got this. Want to keep some drugstore options and this one was good i used it and i like it so keeping it these are two wet and wild eyeshadow palettes i'm gonna keep both of these i think these are great i love having affordable options in my collection to be able to reference and this is one of the better brands as far as eyeshadows i like these i like la girl and i like elf so definitely keeping these. I did a comparison of this one with the soft glam and this one's just because of the greens of course. I loved it. See how much trouble I'm gonna have getting these ones out of the back because they are stuffed in here but now I can move stuff to the front a little bit. Please do not fall. All right so this is the balm. This is the smoke balm. I'm gonna get rid of this y'all. I've had this forever and I was keeping it for this green which still feels freaking amazing. But the reality is I have, look at that. I swear I've had this palette probably for like, I'm not even gonna lie, like 10 years or something. But I don't wear it. I never pull it out. Oh my goodness, that color is so pretty though. Maybe I can pop that color out. I'm going to try to pop that shade out and put it in a different palette, but I'm going to throw the other shades away. This is new to my collection. This is the That's My Jam by Too Faced. This is cute. Just picked this up, not getting rid of it. This I used to keep in my travel bag and I would take this with me everywhere. And then when I stopped being in love with Warm tones as much as I am now, I was like, okay, I'm taking this one out. I use this a lot, and honestly, hmm, I could probably get rid of this one. I don't know. I feel like I legit feel bad when I get rid of stuff, which I know is ridiculous, but I don't think I'm going to pull this out again between, unless I travel with it. I'm going to pull it out. I don't know. I'm probably going to get rid of it, but I'm not sure. This is the City Mini Palette times Shayla. I think I want to get rid of this. I do. I think I do. Oh, let's see. I mean, that's pretty, but like in the grand scheme of things, how many purples do I have? I'm going to try it. I'm going to see. If I use it and it gives me some type of feels... I'm going to keep it. If not, then I'm going to get rid of it. I know I have that color story over and over, so it's kind of just like, why? But again, it's a drugstore option that I think would be good to keep, but I don't know. That's the answer. This is the Belief Beauty. Just picked this up from Dollar Tree. This is a really good palette. Absolutely loved it when I did a full face of Belief Beauty and not getting rid of it. This is ColourPop Take Me Home. This kind of reminds me of the Smashbox one, except the Smashbox one had a reddish color in it. Very similar. I mean, if anything, okay, I'm going to keep the Smashbox. I mean, I know that's how this is supposed to go. You don't wear it, get rid of it, right? I need to check the formula on this, see if it's still good. So I'm going to put them both as maybes. I already know these two right there are not going anywhere. This is the NYX Grind Palette. Y'all know why I picked this up. If you have this or have seen it, look at how gorgeous. Guess what this looks like? Another subculture dupe. Can y'all tell how much I love this color story? Anything that has this in it, I was like, I need to get it. So I'm not getting rid of this. I don't care how old it is. She's staying. 
This I also just got last year, I think. I found this. I bought it on Amazon and I was kind of nervous because I didn't know if it was going to suck or not. But this is the Charlotte Tilbury. Which one is this? Icon palette. This is a really good palette. Like it actually kind of surprised me really good because the shades are really pigmented. These are almost, these are like cream to powders more than they are standard powder. And the pigmentation was gorgeous. I love the pops of color. I love this friggin' green. So yeah, she's staying. Next, just got this one as well. This is the Bobbi Brown, I don't know the name of this, Autumn Avenue eyeshadow palette. Found this at the cosmetics company store. Greens, keeping it. This is the Auto Balm Day to Night palette by the Balm. This was a gift. It's very hard to open. I've been holding on to this because it was a gift. And honestly, the shades are pretty good. I've used this and it has this black primer that you can use to transform the look of these others. I just haven't played with it a lot. I'm going to keep this. I got this in a BoxyCharm or something. This is by the brand Blink. Yeah, BoxyCharm. And it's Electric Eyes. These are just a bunch of shimmer shades. I'm going to get rid of this. I never pull this out. I keep looking at it and say I'm going to use it. But again, like the Flower Beauty, because it's by itself, I don't use it. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one. And last but not least, in this drawer, just got this. This is the Elf Mint Melt Eyeshadow Palette. I got this for, during my Elf haul. I think this palette is super cute. I used all the shades. I wish this shade was a little darker, like a, I mean, for my skin tone, but I still made it work. So this is cute keeping. Is that it? I think that is it over here, but we are not done. Yeah, that was face stuff. So now we're going to move to my big drawers. So we're going to start up here. This might be a little awkward, but I'm not moving stuff. Like I have my stuff set up exactly how I want it. So I'm not moving anything. So we're just going to try to do this like this. This is the Jackie Ina. And this is the, y'all know what this is. She is not going anywhere at all. Definitely keeping. Modern Renaissance. Honestly, so this kind of looks like the Smashbox one, right? I'm keeping the, I, I have the Smashbox one as a maybe because I could travel with it. I don't use this palette, y'all. Hmm. I'm going to put it in the maybes. I'm just, I'm going to hold on to it. I'm going to put it in the maybes. Oh my God. If I get rid of an ABH palette, this is the soft glam. We already know. Ooh, she dirty. This is not going anywhere. Love this palette. I can tell y'all right now, none of my big palettes back here are going anywhere. This is the latest. This is the Volume, what number are we on? Volume five. Y'all know this palette is beautiful. She is not going anywhere. I got volume one first because I knew with the purples that I had to have this. Also not going anywhere. These other two I have not even touched yet. So they are not going anywhere and probably won't go anywhere because... I am happy that I have the collection, so that is staying. And I also got them super cheap. I don't know what number this is. This is number two. I guess the other one was number three. I don't remember. Beautiful. As if I would get rid of that. All right, so now we move to this side. Natasha Denona Glam Palette. Already know she is not going into wear. Natasha Denona Love Palette. Not going anywhere. Natasha Denona Sunrise Palette. Also not going anywhere. Y'all look at these shades. You know what? I need to, I keep thinking about travel with the Smashbox because I mean, this is the same thing minus the brown. Natasha Denona Bronze Palette. Also not going anywhere. 
I knew I had to have this one. I paid, I think I paid full price for this too. Natasha Denona Metropolis palette. Never repeat. Never going to go anywhere. Freaking love this color story. She has been used. She is beat up and I'm keeping her. You know, it's crazy. I'm still even thinking about getting a backup of that one. I haven't used that one up, but it's more whether or not it goes bad. This was the first, no, second Natasha Denona palette I ever bought. This is the Leela palette. Y'all already know she ain't going nowhere. Purple, browns, perfect. This was my first, the Sunset palette, because I was on my warm tone kick. Couldn't tell me nothing when I pulled this baby out. She is not going anywhere. Back here in the back, still in the box that it came in, not going anywhere. This is the Sultry palette when they released it for the holidays. Definitely keeping. Now we can move into this drawer. Where do I start? Oh Lord, this is going to take forever. <laughs> All right, Pat McGrath. This is the... Uh, these don't have names on it. I don't know which one this is, but she's not going anywhere. Super, super pretty. Pretty much anything up here ain't going anywhere, so I'm going to just stop saying that. That is a given unless I say different. I don't know which one this is either. Well, I hate that they don't put the names on them. I don't even remember when I got this one, but yep, not getting rid of her. This one, I love this one. And I picked this one up because I was like, I might actually be able to do a complete look with this one. And I can. So definitely keeping. I'm sorry, guys. I'm a bad YouTuber. I don't know the names of these. Definitely keeping. I know this one is Blitz Bordeaux. <laughs> I'm definitely keeping this one. My Star Wars palettes. Let me tell you about these. I got these and they came in broken, but I was able to push them back together. So that is why you see all the stuff around them. This one, pinks and purples, definitely keeping. You see that? I don't know if this is truly a duochrome. Might be, but it also might be because the gold that broke got into everything. So this is the other one. And listen, I don't care nothing about no Star Wars. Get that straight right now. That's not why I bought it. I bought it because of the shades. Same thing. This one broke. Had to put it back together. But yeah, she's pretty. I'm sorry if I'm catching y'all with this glare. I'm not going to pull these out because this video is going to be forever. Pat McGrath, big old palettes. Well, let me do these little one, this little one in the back. Uh, oh, see, they did the name on this one. Celestial Divinity Lux Quad. I did end up picking this one up. I was a sucker and she's cute. For my big babies, I have Utopian Dreams, which is number eight. Of course it doesn't say. I think that's number eight. Number six. Seven, slow your roll, boo, do not fall. Um, Divine Rose 2, definitely keeping all of these. Number five, Bronze Seduction. I don't remember what number. One of my favorites, Midnight Sun. I don't think I've used this one yet. I actually bought this one when it first came out, and then I brought it back, and then I bought it again. Yeah, because uh, I want it. I'm going to be a collector. These last two as well. This is number one, I believe. Sublime. Yes, Mothership One Sublime. This is the cool toned one. I picked this up because I wanted to be a collector and got on my cool tone kick. Oh my God, don't fall out of there. And then this is Sublime number two. Which, honestly, I thought that would have been my favorite because it has a green in it. And I think, no, maybe I bought that one. Yeah, I bought that one, too, and then brought it back and then bought it again. I'm a hot mess. Tom Ford. I don't know, y'all. I don't want to pull all these out the box. I should just take them out, but I'm not. Okay, I'll put pictures. That's what I'll do. This is number 04 in Honeymoon. I will insert a picture. 
I bought all of these on sale. Super proud of that. Number 21, Last Dance. Number 22, Super Nouveau. Was super excited to get this one. Number 23, African Violet. Next one, this was one that I, I, I knew I had to have because it has a duochrome. This is 24 Photosynthesex. Yes, I said that right. This is number 25, Pretty Baby. Also has this gorgeous shade in it and I literally bought it for one shade. 26 Leopard Sun. And this one's more of a warm tone, kind of orangey, if I remember right. It has an orange in it that's really pretty. I think I'm remembering that right. Or it's browns, like warm tones. This is number 28, Daydream. I think this is the purple one that I did. The wedding series, I think. Don't make me lie to y'all. I might be right, though. Then these three in the back. These are, two of them are the extremes. This one is 01 Badass. Is this another one? Yeah. What is this? Yeah, it's a quad. Merc mercurial. I'm going to look at this because I don't know what this is. No freaking clue. Oh, okay. Huh. All right. Wasn't expecting that to be that, but she's cute. Make sure y'all can see since I opened it. And then this one is flicker is this an eyeshadow palette nope i knew it one of these is not an eyeshadow palette i've just put this in here because i want it with all my tom ford stuff but this is a highlighter highlighter and a bronzer yeah gorgeous all right anastasia beverly hills amrezy she has not been used i picked this up on sale I'm going to take this out the box. This is getting on my nerves. Oh, it might be easier if you open it on the side. You're supposed to. This packaging, I'm not a pink girl, but this is just so cute. And then that is the palette right there. These colors are stunning, not going anywhere. This is the Prism. Yeah, Prism palette. Also very cute. I like this palette. I've used it a few times. Clear, you can see I've used that shade. Use this shade, use that shade. But I need to get into them other shades because look at them. Told y'all, never going to get rid of it. Ever, ever, ever. I do not care. And now you've seen this color story, what, four times? Too cute. This is the Riviera palette. I have not used this yet. I found this in a Marshalls for 20 bucks. This would have to be, I doubt that I would use this by itself, but it is still very pretty. Gonna keep it. Then in the very back, just because I need to move it, but I put it in here because of the fact that the packaging is gorgeous. This is the Supreme Nudes. Just got this this summer because I wanted to see what the hype was about. And she's cute. Very cute. Yo, Lord, help her. Because we gotta move down here. KKW Camo Palette. Y'all already know. She's not going anywhere. Very gorgeous. These two I picked up Ulta sale when they were like 50% off, if not more. This is the Classic Blossom. I shouldn't have bought this. I'm going to be completely honest. I shouldn't have bought this. But I did. And I need to use it. But I don't know. Like now this color story is just not giving me life like it used to. So I probably could get rid of this one. I'm going to put this in the maybes. But this one is staying. This is the classic two. Definitely keeping this one. Y'all, if I ever go back in a worn tone phase, I'm going to kick myself if I get rid of these palettes. This is the KKW times Winnie. I picked this up at the same time as the others. I just thought it was cute, different colors, gorgeous shades. This is the, needs to be, well, I ain't got no room, Natasha Denona face palette. Y'all know how I feel about her. We are not decluttering this. Absolutely love it. Also another Natasha Denona, the retro palette. This one's cute, very cute. 
I'm taking this carton off. I'm over it. Doing this video is making me over the fact that I keep all these boxes. This is the Chase Your Dreams by Sydney Grace. This was my first Sydney Grace purchase. Definitely keeping this. This is the Ace Bute Falling for You. Take it out the box. I got this boxy charm, I think, pop up. Very cute. Y'all, their formula, I don't know. I don't know what it was. I don't know. I don't know if this is the new formula or what, but when I used that flare palette, not flare, um, tropical vibes palette, I was blown away. Um, this is the flare palette. I have not used this one yet either. Come on now. Do you think I'm gonna get rid of that? Absolutely not. We already know she is not going anywhere. She has not been used. I stalked this forever. I guess I can take her out the box. Not yet. She needs her own moments. Y'all, look at this palette. Sorry, I'm blinding you. No way I'm getting rid of that. Melt Cosmetics. She's in parties. She is staying. Love this palette. Taking it out the box. Melt Cosmetics Mary Jane. I, this one got so much hate and don't get me wrong i get it the shimmer shades are not very easy to use but look at this color story and really it's more just about you have to really like work them into the skin because they're a little chunky but this palette is beautiful if you know how to work it gorgeous looks this one honestly i kind of regret buying I ain't even going to lie. This is the 420 palette. And I didn't pay attention that this only had one shimmer shade. It's not a bad palette. Don't get me wrong. I was disappointed just because I didn't notice that. But these shades are freaking gorgeous. And their matte formula is amazing. So it's not a bad purchase. It was just not what I expected. One of my favorites in my collection. And I haven't even used it. Y'all look at this. Oh my God. <laughs> so freaking gorgeous. I don't even know if you can get this anymore. But I stalked when this was coming out. I bought it pre-sale. Waited, waited. Was so excited. And then I just stared at it. I don't even think I've swatched it. I haven't touched it. This is going to get its own video very soon. Because... I feel like playing in this would be something that would just like make me feel good, put me in a good mood if I'm not in one already. So definitely keeping. I picked this one up just because I didn't want to just, <laughs> I didn't want to just buy one. So this is the Feral palette. But again, if I see an eyeshadow palette that has greens in it, I'm probably going to buy it. So, and this is cute. It has purples, the reds, pink, pretty, pretty, pretty. This is Give Me Glow Juicy Olive. This is so, y'all, look at these greens. I haven't used this yet. I need to, but yeah, this is another one. Ugh, if I could do green and purple and yeah, green and purple on my channel all the time, I would probably film every day, but I know I need to do different stuff. And so... I got to be creative and in the mood. This is the Colored Rain Safari palette. I bought this when they restocked it before they said it was never coming back. This palette is so pretty. This looks like something else I'm thinking about. Kind of subculture-ish vibes. Imagine that. Another one. This is the Colored Rain Times Power palette. Y'all, this palette is a banger i know you can't get it anymore but this used to be my special occasion palette this shade right here is so beautiful i did a look with this and i just felt like and put this on top of it and i just felt like my eyes like i don't care what i was wearing that night you couldn't help but look at my eyes that's how i felt so pretty and then this is the last one in the group. This is the Give Me Glow Grunge Palette. So when I placed my Give Me Glow order, I was like, what palette do I need to get? And they said they were discontinuing this one. 
And so I was like, yep, I need to have it. If it's not going to be back anymore, absolutely love it. This is a purple. Y'all can see the colors. She's too cute. Love that they have transition shades and then super deep shades. Only two shimmers, but that's really all you need with all these shades. So I think this is beautiful. I think we're going to stay right here, but I do have some more palettes because I have some stuff. Keep dropping stuff. Sitting to be hauled, but the lighting is good. So let me grab those to show you. All right. Glad we're getting to the end of this because I feel like this video is going to be long. So I put this in the eyes because it has eyeshadows in it and it's kind of like the Natasha Denona face palette. So this is the Milani. What is this thing called? all-inclusive eye face cheek whatever <laughs> I've actually been using this a lot lately but I literally only use a little bit of this a little bit of this and then these I was kind of disappointed with this and the highlighter is not bad but for, for this to be the deep one this bronzer is not deep enough and then this needed to be lighter or something I don't know like I can't put this as a crease shade because it's not dark enough can't put it as a lid shade because it's too dark. This I would rather be darker and a little less warm since you could use this as an eyeshadow, you know, if that makes sense. So I just feel like they could did, they could have did better with this color story, but I've been using this, but uh, I'm kind of thinking I want to get rid of this, even though I've been using it. Like I just been using it because I needed something quick and it was in my bathroom. So I don't know. I'm going to pull this one out. This little baby is the one I was talking about earlier that stays in my makeup bag. This is the Viseart Minx Theory Palette. I love this. I use this for meets every single, anytime I'm traveling. This is what I have on my eyes. This, and I'll show you what I keep my other shadows in. Hold on. I decided to include this because... It has eyeshadows in it. I bring this with me when I travel still, and it still pretty much has the same shadows in it. Ooh, these are about to fall. Oh, something broke. And eh, my contour. Well, yeah, there's that. So if I need pops of color, I need to clean this out. I use this, but for the most part on my eyes, I'm using that other palette. I'm trying to figure out how to put these back. And I'm not sure. There we go. I got to clean this out. This is just determined to break. These were from the um, Tarte Times Makeup Shayla Face Palette. I freaking love that. So was this. But this was breaking and it's still breaking. And then these, I believe, are MAC blushes. And I put magnets on the back, so I'm not going to be able to read it. Oh, this one doesn't have one. Yeah, I don't know what shade it is. Raisin. That is literally like one of my favorites. And then this is, yeah, can't see it. So anyway, my pops of colors for when I'm out of town, use this and then I need to clean this. But yeah, this palette is literally like my tried and true, never without it when I travel. Y'all see that little palette that's sitting in there right now? Y'all see that? Ah, this just came in literally today is Friday, the 27th, I think, whatever, 28th. I just got this in. I paid a pretty penny for her because you know you can't get it anymore. And the FOMO was so real. Now, 2022, if I want something, I'm buying it when it comes out. Because if it sells out and I got to pay extra to get it later, I'm going to be mad at myself and I might punish myself and not do it. I'm not going to tell y'all how much I paid for this palette because it doesn't matter. I have it now. If you have not seen this, y'all know how I am about getting it dirty about multi-chromes even though I don't wear them a lot I like to swatch them <laughs> um I'm gonna just show y'all the back because it's too hard to open but look at that do 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 freaking gorgeous I gotta open it I took a quick look at it when I got it just to make sure it wasn't broken because I bought it off of Mercari but yeah I know these all look white, but when you swatch them, they're going to look different. But there are so many different formulas and finishes in here. I had to have this. There's no way I could say I'm a makeup enthusiast and not have this palette. That's how I feel about it. I'm still looking for the Alien Cosmetics Lore palette. If anyone has it and they want to sell it 
or can tell me where I can find one, I will be grateful to you. This I also just picked up. It's sitting in a box for a haul. This is the Carity Clarity, not Carity. Carity is in drugstores. Clarity Cosmetics Melanin Chronicles, y'all. Look at how cute that is. Look at this freaking color. I just went on their website and bought a bunch of stuff. I saw this palette is what started it. And then I bought some others. Y'all know if you know anything about this brand that I had to pick this one up. Because what you think these colors are? Just take a wild, wild guess. Baby. Yes. Yep, needed to have it. There's another one back there. That one's called Magic Lamp. So you guys will see these again in my haul because I haven't filmed it yet. But since I decided to do this and wanted to include all of them, I felt like I need to show you these now. What does she look like? Press Pigment Palette. Ooh, yes, I remember. Y'all, look at these colors. So pretty. And then this one is also sitting in the hall, but Lynette made me buy this from L. I don't want to get it wrong. It's either LBD or LDB. I'm sorry. I'm going to link her channel down below. She does a lot of eyeshadows and I'm always stalking her videos and her channel. This is the Blend Bunny Surge palette. I saw this on her channel and I paused the video and I went and bought this. So pretty. Like I have slept on, not slept on, but like I just didn't know about all these indie brands. And it's kind of hard to keep up with like what's good and what's not. Plus there's brands and then they go out of business and you don't know. So I'm trying to get on the bandwagon with some more of the indie brands. I'm always, always, always going to check for Pat McGrath and Natasha Denona. That is a given. But I want to start trying more indie brands. So they just came out, Surge did, I mean, Blend Bunny just came out with another palette. I forgot what it's called, but it's also really cute, but I need to try that one first. These last ones were the ones that were on top of my hair cabinets. We are almost done, guys. This is the Makeup Plan and Makeup by Yolando Jamrock No Limitations palette. I love this palette. It's gorgeous. Did a look with it. Y'all know my issue. If you didn't watch the video, I just had issues with the customer service. But the palette is absolutely beautiful. So I don't regret buying it. And one shade has my name. Um, don't regret buying it. And hopefully customer service has gotten better. But I have two palettes from them. And I wanted to support a black owned brand. I'm never going to get rid of this either. This is the Jaclyn Hill. I think this is the first Morphe palette that I bought. I actually had two of these because they pulled that going out of stock or not a limited edition and then they brought it back crap. So I bought two of them and then it came back and it stayed permanent. So I gave one to a friend, but gorgeous, lots of warm tones. And then I have two other Big Daddy Morphe palettes, which is why they're not in my drawer. James Charles palette. I just bought it because of all the colors. Not even going to lie. And look what color has the most dent in it. Super cute. And then this one I actually really, really wanted. This is the Artistry. Yeah, the Artistry palette. And this has like all these big transition shades. And then I did it for this. This little section right here. I'm not... Yeah, none of that was in it. It was like this bottom half part for me was what did it. And last but not least, two palettes, and it's the same thing. I bought the Kat Von D matte metal palette, metal matte, whichever first, and I freaking loved it. And then I realized it was limited edition, and so I went and bought another one. Yeah, I ain't gonna never use this. And now I'm just like, I don't know that I like it that much. So I have two of them. Haven't used, haven't used. I've used these here. 
haven't used all these mattes. It's a good palette. I like this palette. I'm not going to get rid of it. Um, but I definitely didn't need to. So I would like to try to sell the other one, but I think I have it listed on Poshmark or Mercari or something like that. And it just hasn't sold. So I don't know. It's still in my collection. I thought I was finished. I'm not finished. I forgot a whole drawer, my bottom drawer, my big drawer. So these are my bigger palettes. I don't, yeah. So I'm gonna go through these quick. Juvia's Place, The Tribe. Definitely keeping that. BH Cosmetics, Beautiful in Barcelona. I bought this for like my first kind of fall palette. And I thought it was cute because it had the blues in it. Wait. This the one? Yeah, I've used it. It said fall to me. I don't know. Y'all let me know what you think. Beauty Bakery Breakfast in Bed. I have heard a lot of people don't like this palette. I like this palette. Did a look with it on my channel. I think it's cute. I'm keeping it. Nomad by Juvia's. You know. You know I'm keeping this. LA Girl Pro Artistry Palette. Y'all know I love this palette. Definitely keeping it. Barbarella got this in a boxy charm. This has a lot of shimmer shades that look the same. I tried this palette and I really like it. I like the shades. I think that a lot of them are similar, but I used this one and I really liked it. I've used this one. I've used this one and I think they work really well. So I'm going to keep it. Yeah. I'm getting rid of this. I've been holding on to it saying I was going to keep it until I did my declutter. It's okay, but I just, I don't love it. I don't love, I don't, I tried it. I don't love it. I'm over it. Uh oh, let's get up here. This is the Perception by Shayla and ColourPop. Y'all know I'm not getting rid of this for as long as I can keep it. I will. This is the Tarte Tartist Pro Palette. I've had this for so long. And I don't use it. But I'm not going to get rid of it. <laughs> She's a keeper. I need to check and see if the shades are still good. I've had that for a while, so I don't know if the mattes have kind of gotten powdery or what. This is the Tardis Pro Remix. I just got this one because I had the other one, to be honest. But the shades are great. I love them, so definitely keeping. This is the LA Girl Break Free Palette. Break Free Palette. My son did my makeup with this palette for Thanksgiving. So little memories attached to that, keeping it. These back here are just empty palettes that I have put random shadows in. I could probably get rid of this, to be honest, because I don't even open this. This is like, I'm going to stick these in here because I don't use them, but I don't want to throw them away. So I need to actually like do something with them and see if I'm going to use them and keep them. So I'm going to pull this out. These shades are way too dark for me, but I keep them because... I could use them for darker complexions. So yeah, these are makeup geeks. This back here is my multi-chrome singles in a Morphe Z palette. Y'all already know this is not going anywhere. All right, this is the last of them. This is the Tarte Unleashed palette. I just got this one, have not used it yet. Go ahead and take this out the box. Take this eye, Lord have mercy, mascara out. <laughs> Put that with my others. So this doesn't take up so much space, but I loved this when it first came out. I swatched it in Ulta, but I was just like, I don't want to pay that much for it. And then it went on sale and it came in that big kit. So yeah, decided to pick it up. I swatched that shade and that shade, and that's what made me buy it. This is the crayon case box of crayons. Y'all, this is so pigmented, so colorful, so pretty. Black owned brand out of New Orleans. 
and I had to support because I grew up in Louisiana. So that was my main motivation for buying it. But they have so much stuff on their website. I need to try more. This Profusion Wanderlust. I think I've just been holding on to this because I wanted to have Profusion in my collection. So I'm still going to keep this one because I don't know if I'm going to keep the other one. And I would like to have at least one. This is the BH Cosmetics BFF Alondra and Elsie palette. This is so pretty. I just got this this summer, not getting rid of it. Man, I'm like, I need to play with this. I think I did. I don't even think I did a look with it. I think I just swatched it. Yeah, I need to play with this. ColourPop Stone Cold Fox. Y'all know she's not going nowhere. Violet Boss Pro. So do I want to keep this or do I want to keep Modern Renaissance? Because I don't need to keep them both. Maybe this one because it has more shades. Where's my Modern Renaissance? Let's look at it. Like this is literally except. Oh, I'm trying to see. Eh, can I get it in the frame? There we go. Modern Renaissance has one more extra pinkish burgundy shade. Y'all, these are very similar. I never looked at that before. Hmm. And honestly, I kind of like the Violet Boss one better. I'm going to play with both of these because I'm only going to keep one. I don't know which one. So I'm going to figure that out and I will let y'all know. This is the Urban Decay Vice Palette. Like, why does it sound like my brush is still in here? I can't tell you the last time I used this, but I ain't getting rid of it. <laughs> this is the only one of these palettes I have. I know there were a bunch of vice palettes, but I like this. I like the color story, so I'm not gonna get rid of it. Looking at it, it kind of reminds me of like the Nabla ones that I showed earlier. I know I need to get rid of this because I've had it probably for 10 years. This is the Smashbox Masterclass palette. Y'all, this is so old. This was my first high-end eyeshadow palette that I bought. And I told my ex-husband that I was buying this because I know it's $60 at the time. I think it was $60, $65, something like that. And I was like, but it's the only high-end palette I'll ever need. It's the, It has everything, and I'll never need another. That was the worst lie and the start of something that has evolved into this. So... Not getting rid of it. I loved this shade. I wasn't even into greens and anything yet. Kind of the purples, but I stayed on this side and that shade. Keeping it. And I used the, these. So, yeah. Too Faced Pumpkin Spice Palette. I picked this up at the Cosmetics Company store. I like this palette. It's cute. I like the shades. Keeping it. Three Juvia's Place. Juvia's Place Masquerade Mini. I think I got these last three palettes in a set. When I ordered on Juvia's Place, I like this palette. It's cute. Love the colors. Love this brand and their formula and everything. So, yep. Magic Mini by Juvia's. Love this one. Did I use? I did use this one because I remember I used this shade. Not getting rid of that. And then last, Nubian 2. Oh, guess she ain't supposed to bend it like that. If I'm honest, this is probably my least favorite Juvia's, and I still love it. That's what the brand does for me, so not getting rid of it. Almost forgot about this little baby right here. <laughs> I just have palettes all over the place. This is the Mauve Obsessions palette. I could honestly get rid of this one, but this was the first one that I bought from Huda, and it feels like a memory, so that is my reason I don't want to yet. This was in my bathroom and I used it pretty often, so I'm not going to get rid of this one either. Now I think I'm really done. Lord, I pray that I'm really done. <laughs> but that is it. I am pretty sure I will leave a note in the comments if I forgot anything. But that is my eyeshadow palette collection, guys. 213 palettes. And... The Danessa Myricks was my first of 2022. I feel like I'm going to be a little more deliberate and buy stuff that I'm like super excited about. 
this year just because I'm looking at this and I'm just like, you're never going to use all of this stuff and I don't want to be wasteful. But yeah, I'm also not just throwing away stuff because eh, you need to get rid of it because I don't. I don't need to get rid of it. This is my collection and I love it. So that is it. Thank you for sticking with me to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what were some of your favorites. Do you have any of these? What do you want to see a look with? Yeah, it's a lot. But let me know your thoughts. Let's chat in the comments. I will see you guys soon. My eye is almost better, so I will be filming soon. But I have other content pre-filmed, thank God. So we won't miss an upload. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.